Once you get your songs brought into Live Tracker, it's now time to build your first set list. Now, banks here on the top in Live Tracker are your set lists. And so the easiest way to get started with banks is to pop out the source here, and then we see bank options appear. Here we can create a new bank. We can insert uh, previous banks. I've got these banks already in my, my software. We can remove the active bank, um, show where the bank location is in Windows Explorer or Mac Explorer, etc. Okay, um, so what I like to do here is create a new bank for any venue that we're going to, okay, within the same group, within the same music. Once you create that new bank, you can then bring in all of your different songs and put them in order as you need them. It's, it's really simple, okay? You can go in as well and you can add breaks here. Um, let's see, coffee break. I don't know why there's a coffee break, which allows you to make a stop inside of Live Tracker. We'll talk about that more in a minute. Now, there's a couple things here to pay quick, close attention to. The first is if you're going ahead and working with multiple bands or multiple groups that you perform with, then you'll want to make use of the source options here and you'll want to change your source folder. So this PC documents live tracker is great to just use that as where you keep all your songs if you only perform or play with one band. But if you play with multiple bands and are using live tracker for multiple different sets of music, then I would go ahead and inside this live tracker folder, um, I would create maybe inside documents a second, third, fourth folder, or even within the live tracker folder, just create more subfolders. Let me go find out where I was again. Create more subfolders for your different groups that you perform with. This way, you're able to go ahead, select your folder uh, for your source, and you're able to switch quickly on the same computer between multiple groups that you work with while keeping all of the data for each group in its own separate folder. Okay, that's how this works. So that's a lot. I know that's a good bit of info, but hopefully that'll give you the keys here to get started. Now we also want to look here at the, at the options here of genres, okay? So you can actually go here and you can go and assign genres to different pieces of music to make it easier to find them. So to begin with that, you'll want to add a new genre. We'll call this one folk. And then we have pop, dance, rock, etc. And folk is our two genres. Now I can go to show unassigned. I can click on this song A, assign to folk, proceed. Song B and C, I've just used shift to select them both. We'll put them in pop, rock, dance, etc. And now we're able to find our music by genre. This is super helpful if you're in maybe a tribute band or somebody that plays a lot of covers and you've got a lot of tracks that you get in here. You'll want to put those, those different songs into genres so they're easier to find. But of course, you can always go back to show all, see all of your songs and be able to drag those in. Awesome. Now, in our next video, we've only gone over audio so far. And what we're going to do next is talk about the flow of a live show for if you're just playing backing tracks. And then we're going to go in after that and add in the different types of media, videos and lyrics and things like that, that you're able to use in live tracker. For the sake of a live show, it'll all be the same. So we'll see you in that next video for that. And remember, if you have enjoyed these videos and because you've seen these videos, you want to buy Live Tracker, go down below through my link and you'll get a discount code, David's LS. You use, go through the link below and grab that discount code. I'll, I'll keep it updated if it changes to get 5% off Live Tracker and also just to thank me with a small commission from the Live Tracker team. Okay, if you do buy. But again, don't buy it if it's not for you. And in the next video, like I said, we're going to talk about using Live Tracker in a live show. Thanks.